Hi, welcome back to Wolf Mix 101. It's a simple set of two to three minute lessons teaching you how to program the Wolf Mix W1 DMX controller. It's a fantastic piece of kit. There's a lot to it, but it is so quick and simple to program once you've got the idea behind. Okay then, we're gonna jump in. We've already covered color effects, movement effects, adding fixtures, adding fixtures that aren't there, and tons of other features. Moving into now the static effects or the overrides. The easiest one to look at first is the live edit. If we hit live edit, and what you do is if you select an empty panel that you want to use, or if you press shift down the bottom there and the scene you want to edit. It then asks you to select the fixture you want to edit. So we'll take a moving head and you put the press the flash button up here and you'll be able to see it live. Now hopefully, if my programming memory serves me right, that is the moving head we're gonna be working on. So you press edit. The first thing we want to edit is the tilt and there we go. We can move that light anywhere we want to spotlight a cake or spotlight a bride and groom or an officiant and we can move it round like that. The next part is the colour wheel and you can either add a DMX value which will cause the colours to change or this is really clever if you click the encoder you can pick the colours that are available off the features list yourself. So we'll pick a really nice red and we go back and then we'll add a gobo to it. So once again, click the value and all the gobos that are available come up on there from open right the way up to cones and all the gobos that are available on that particular fixture. And then it goes into the gobo shakes. So once we've selected the gobo that we want, back to edit. We don't want a shutter effect on it, albeit we can, and we don't want a dimmer effect, albeit if we want to, just by turning the encoder, we're increasing and decreasing the shutter, like that. Once you've got what you want, you hit record DMX there, like that press the button you're going to record it to and it will remember those positions on your live edits. Next clever part on the edits is the colour. You can select once again group A, B, C or D. The group that you can affect the colour on comes up. If you hit the colour we get orange, the green, the blue, the pink and the red or the magenta as best we can. Same for every group. Or you can go in and individually select the head or the fixture that's going to do it. Same for the position. You've got different points where we showed you how to set the center points. And you do that by going in, shift to edit, the target ends up there. And when you move, Sorry, we're changing our own group here. Group you can see. Select the target and wherever you put it is where it's going to land. And that can be set as a memory then so that it, it goes from the presets to wherever you want it to, wherever you've remembered and saved it. Finally, the gobos, you can select, there's only one group of fixtures that's got gobos available and you can select either off the buttons again or off the screen the gobo that you want. Once you've done that, it comes out of the live let edit and it will stay on that static gobo until you change it. That's the static scenes and override scenes and I'll see you in the next lesson.